Apart, perhaps, from the health care legislation, uh, this, this bill would create um, a consumer financial protection agency that is probably the most complex piece of legislation that Congress will take up this year. The definition section in the House version, which is H.R. 3126, is 20 pages long, with eight pages just to define financial activity. The list of included services is enormous, ranging from deposit taking to servicing loans to debt collection, uh, leasing and financing, uh, and, finan and financial data processing. And then, of course, at the end, there is authority for the agency to add any other business it thinks should be covered if that business is incidental or complementary to a financial activity. It's interesting to see which groups got themselves exempted from the bill that was reported out by the House Committee. Lawyers, accountants, real estate brokers, auto dealers. The exemption, the exemption for real estate brokers is particularly interesting in my view. That apparently is not a financial activity against which consumers need protection, although leasing real property is. Mortgage brokerage is covered, of course, since some people, like the President of the United States, think it is the cause of the entire financial crisis. So if I understand it correctly, consumers need protection if they rent a home, if they finance it, but not when they buy it. There are a lot of problems that led to this financial crisis, but one a uh, key one, in our, it's our belief, was a failure of consumer protection across the entire financial system. To learn from the past crisis um, and deal with uh, issues in this agency that perhaps have systemic implications, but that problems for uh, American consumers go well beyond that. And by not having a federal regulator who's responsible um, for making sure that consumers are treated fairly, that there are clear rules that are enforced across all financial um, products and practices uh, that we're really missing an opportunity to improve um, people's livelihoods, that mortgage is the one that blew up that caused this big problem. That's not the only thing that we want to deal with. That's the impetus um, and the largest uh, mortgage or financial activity that people will take uh, that will occur to them, but, uh, but uh, the other ones that hit them on an everyday basis are important as well. Um, does the whole CFPA proposal um, really get to the heart of uh, the uh, what caused the recent financial crisis, the, the mortgage crisis. Um, there is, in our view, um, uh, an absence of uh, detail of how the CFPA is going to actually um, cause there to be um, a system of uh, oversight, examination, supervision, uh, a review of the quality of conduct of the non-depository institution uh, providers of financial products and services. The, uh, the CFPA is a consumer protection uh, oriented uh, agency. Uh, it, it doesn't get to um, the fundamental safety and soundness uh, credit underwriting issues that, in our mind, were at the heart of the recent mortgage crisis. So we do, we do not believe that it is um, a uh, effective or improves either consumer protection or safety and soundness supervision to, uh, to split them apart. I, I believe that this proposal, this new CFPA, gives unparalleled authority to a new regulator with no track record and no checks and balances. And in a system of limited government in which we live, that's intolerable. Now, I'm not saying that there shouldn't be better consumer protection, because I agree with Mr. Stein. I think one of the real problems we have is that we have uneven consumer protection standards. And if you look at the consumer problems that we've had in recent years in the mortgage space, a lot of those took place because you had an, an, an origination program that took place without the kinds of consumer protections that you had and effectively enforced in the banking world. And so you had over a number of years banks losing market share to their non-bank competitors who could offer their products much uh, more quickly 
And that's an important element of cost, as well as uh, in a less expensive way. Where is the line? How do you cleanly divide consumer protection from safety and soundness? I, I really do defy anybody to find that line effectively in practice, because I can't find it. When you're asking the question of ability to pay, is ability to repay a loan a safety and soundness issue, or is it a consumer protection issue? And the answer is yes. <laughs> it's both. This, this has a number of, of uh, follow-on effects. First, agencies have limited uh, incentive to develop deep benches of expertise, that the agencies have a lot of other responsibilities, and consumer protection is, is only one of them. And frankly, it's, it's, for many of them, it's not at the top of the list, nor should it be, that I, I want the OCC looking out for bank safety and soundness first and foremost. If the OCC doesn't do bank safety and soundness, we're in trouble. Uh, fortunately, they do. Uh, the, but the problem is that when you have mix, uh, agencies that have multiple missions, there becomes a hierarchy of missions. Missions get prioritized. And in, uh, inevitably, when you, especially when you mix safety and soundness with consumer protection, consumer protection becomes the subordinated mission. And here, here's how to see it. Safety and soundness is ultimately about profitability. A financial institution that is not profitable cannot be safe and sound. The real question, you know, when we look at any kind of, uh, of legislation, there's, there's a cost-benefit question, right? That we, you know, and we have to think of this not just in terms of monetary costs, but, you know, what's the social well, total social welfare? Do, is the CFPA going to make us better off or worse off in net? That, that, that should be one of our primary questions. Uh, this is very hard to say, you know, and just looking at this as a, as a structural reform, I think it's probably impossible to say. That you know, on some level, structural reform is you know shifting deck chairs around on the Titanic. That uh, well, there's there's no plus or minus necessarily there.